Welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. And today I wanted to do a follow up to a video I did about a year ago, where I showed you essentially how to connect your Fire Stick to your PC or your laptop. Now, especially for the laptop, this does come in handy. Now, if you're on a trip, maybe you're in an airport, you're at a cabin, whatever the case is, you can plug in your Fire Stick and even any other streaming device into your laptop, use your laptop as a monitor, and that way you don't necessarily need another monitor with you. Now, I did a video about a year ago, titled the ultimate fire stick hack uh, a lot of questions poured in and a lot of requests to kind of replicate this on a mac so today i'm going to show you step by step how to set everything up i am going to do it on both devices if you have any questions drop it in the comment section below let's go ahead and jump into it All right, so let's go ahead and start with what I have here, this contraption setup. Now, let me go ahead and unplug everything and we'll just go ahead and break it down. So you will need a couple of things and depending what kind of PC or Mac or what ports you have on those devices, now one thing you're definitely gonna need is an HDMI capture card. Now, what this is guys, it has USB on one end, that's USB-A. On the other end, it has HDMI in. Um, essentially, all you do, plug in your streaming device right here plug this into your PC and you're good to go. So this will work out great if your PC has a USB-A, but a lot of newer PCs will come with USB-C. Now both of these computers do have a USB-C. This one, the Mac only has two USB-Cs. This has USB-Cs as well as USB-A. So this one's more flexible. So you might have to pick up something like this as well. Now all this is guys is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And you can see it goes from C to four USB-As. Now this is very cool because not only does this provide the video input to your laptop, but it also provides power to your Fire Stick. So all you need is the Fire Stick and the power cord for your Fire Stick. And how you get this set up is you plug your Fire Stick into the HDMI capture card. Then you plug the capture card into your adapter in one spot, plug in the power cable to the other spot. And that's essentially is your complete setup. And that's if you have a USB-C. If you don't have USB-C, you only have USB-A's, you really don't need this adapter. All you need to do is plug both of these guys into your laptop and it should be good to go. Now the cool thing about this HDMI capture card, it is only about $25, give or take. All you need to do is plug it in, it will automatically detect, and then you continue with the setup with OBS. So let me go ahead and we'll get this started. So we're gonna start with the setup on the PC, but I am gonna do it on the Mac, probably fast forward it through, but both setups are gonna be exactly the same. So let me go ahead and plug it into the PC. On the side of this computer, I have two USB-Cs, HDMI, and a, a regular USB-A. So I'm gonna use one of these USB-Cs. The other thing that you are gonna need is OBS Studios, and OBS Studios is a free download. I'll go ahead and link that in the description. Uh, that's what you're looking at right now, the user interface on both computers, OBS Studios. And most people are probably familiar with it as a free download. Like I said, I'll link it. And once you install OBS Studios, you will be brought here. Uh, this is a fresh install. So we're gonna start here from step one. So the first thing you're gonna do is add a source. So you're gonna hit the plus button. You're gonna go to your video capture device. Very important. And now we're gonna give it a name. It's automatically called video capture device. I'm just gonna name mine USB dongle. And now we have a couple options, but where it says USB integrated webcam, you want to hit that drop down and you want to switch it to USB video. All right, so you can see USB video. You can now see a picture of the Amazon Fire Stick. So what we're going to do now is scroll all the way down. And at the bottom where it says use custom audio, we're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to scroll down and we want to make sure it says digital audio interface. We're going to click OK. And you might need to adjust as you can see, this is kind of out of frame. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll just get it fitted. We're gonna move that up. And now what we need to do is set up our audio. So just to know when this kicks in, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just go to YouTube and we'll just let something run in the background. So currently we don't have any audio, so that's what we wanna work on. So first thing we wanna do is go to our settings on the right. We're gonna go to audio. And under monitor and device, you wanna hit the drop down, and this is where if you have a headphone connector, you might see it there. I don't have anything plugged in, so the only thing here is my, my built-in headphone jack or my built-in audio device. So what I wanna do is just select it. Make sure that's selected, we're gonna click apply and click okay. 
So next thing we're gonna do guys is in this area where you see your USB dongle, what we're gonna do is just right click. I'm gonna go to advanced audio properties. Now we're gonna see our desktop audio, mic, USB dongle. So we're gonna scroll all the way over and where it says monitor off, you wanna go ahead and make sure that's turned on. I'm gonna hit the drop down. And what I normally do is just put monitor and output. So uh, depending, you might wanna play with these settings, but I put monitor and output. And now you can see that the audio is now connected. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll get out of here. Audio is now connected guys. So now if we right click on this gray area to the right, and we're gonna go to full screen or projector view. And next to that, it just gives you the display that's available. We're gonna go ahead and select that. And now your Fire Stick is 100% connected. Pretty cool, the, the speed as far as the latency is, is good in my opinion, really not noticeable. Audio's working. Let me go back to YouTube and we'll just search something in there. Triple M Roku streaming stick. All right, so you can see that works. Let's go ahead and play my wonderful Roku video. Pause, play works. Let's go on to Netflix. And you can see that the Netflix work as well. So to get out of it, just hit escape. It will bring you to that regular view. Then you can do whatever you wanna do, whether you wanna close it or leave it running. So that's the setup for the PC, pretty straightforward. But what I'm gonna do just to show you guys it does work on the Mac as well. I'm gonna go through the exact same setup. Then we're gonna go ahead and test it out. All right, so on the Mac, you are gonna have a couple extra steps once you get everything set up. One thing I noticed is that when I added the dongle, I didn't have any additional options to go down and select my audio. So what you wanna do, go into settings, we're gonna click on settings, next door, mic slash auxiliary, and we're gonna to go to properties. Now, once you get the properties, more than likely it is gonna be set on default. You wanna go ahead and change that. So hit the drop down. We're gonna go into USB digital audio, click okay. So you wanna make sure you go into your audio, change that or else it will not work. Change it to USB audio. And last thing you wanna do, of course, is do your right click right there. We're gonna to go to a full screen projector view, select the monitor. Now we should have everything on the big screen. And as you can see there, the only thing I have set up is USB-C going to, the, to USB hub. We do have the HDMI capture, the Fire Stick, as well as ePower. Keep in mind, this should work on any streaming device. So if you have a Nvidia Shield, if you have a TiVo Stream 4K, if you have the Chromecast or Google TV, even if you have a camcorder, this should work. I do feel like it's a cooler setup on the Fire Stick because the Fire Stick does give you the option to actually power everything from here. So I, I do feel like that makes it a lot easier, less cumbersome, especially when you're on the go. So drop your thoughts in the comment section. Wanted to do this setup, I received a lot of questions about how this would work on a PC versus the Mac. And you can see the setup was basically identical. The only thing that were located in different places were the audio options and audio settings. And those were able to change easily. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.